Hello everyone, this is Kim Quady with KimPlaysWithPaper.com. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Mesa, Arizona, and every Tuesday I try to go live or I have a video for you showing you what's been going on in my craft room. And what I am playing with today um, is something that I've had in the works for a while. Um, Stampin' Up! Hello Barb, thanks for popping in today. Stampin' Up! offered um, a special day for um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators to participate in a three-hour crafting um, afternoon, and this is the set we were able to pre-order from that. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Deb. Thanks for popping in. Um, and it was called Creativity Now, and we worked with the Splendid Thoughts stamp set, the Splendid Stems Dies, and the um, Splendid Day 12 by 12 Designer Series paper. And um, we created some cards. I'm not going to show you those. Good morning, Leanna. Thanks for popping in. But I am going to show you some cards I made um, for my team members some card kits to make. So I'm gonna share those with you today as well. Good morning, Pam and Fran. Thanks for popping in and thanks for sharing the video. Glad to be live today. Um, all right, well, let's just not talk. Let's pop you down. You know, as I talked about, um, oh, the creativity now, Stampin' Up! is offering on World Card Making Day is October 1st, and anybody can sign up for this. It's a free event. You can um, participate, sign up to participate. I'll have the details out um, October 1st, a three-hour event where you just stamp along with the fun people at Stampin' Up! Good morning, Kay. Thanks for popping in. So uh, let's see. So we'll be using the Splendid Thoughts stamp set, um, the Splendid Stems dies, and then this really, really gorgeous um, Splendid Day 12 by 12 designer series paper. Well, how are things in North Carolina, Kay? I hope they're good. So this is the 12 by 12, this paper I just, I quote, if it glitters, I want it, and this really shines. Hi, Monica, thanks for joining. So I'll just quickly show you this paper. Um, there's one of the pieces. So there's a shiny side and then a plain side. To me, it's just gorgeous. Anything that shines and glitters and um, that, I'm, I'm all on it. This is my favorite piece right here with that fresh freesia. Fresh freesia, soft sea foam, mint macaron, another sheet. So those are the designs there. I also really like the fonts on this stamp set. Um, and it, for me, it covers um, sending hugs, let's celebrate, um, much love in your new life together. So um, today I'm not going to, I'm just, I'm going to do two cards. So, um, you'll be able to they go quickly and that's kind of they're really quick and easy cards that kind of take care of themselves so let me show you what we've got going um the first card is um this one right here with uh, um all the foil strips so i am using a pool party card base um five and a quarter by four white and that's just going to go inside and then I also have a five and a quarter by four pool party and then I've chosen now you'll see this card had five strips but to me it got a little um messy or not messy but crowded so I just I chose four of my strips and they measure um using my grid paper here five by about three quarters of an inch. So I have four of those. And then I have a pool party. I'm also using that dual uh, double oval punch and the um, let's celebrate sentiment. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for popping in. Um, glad you could join. 
I am making this lovely card, so we just need to use some adhesive to put these, let me layer, it always helps to layer these strips on and just see where you're gonna, I have a little more room to play with this time. Um, like I said, the, the five, I know you're supposed to use odds, like an embellishment in the threes, five, sevens, but I just got to be too much, so I kinda liked just the four like that. Good morning, Sandy Graves, thanks for popping in. Oh, Linda, is this your new uh, favorite? You know, it's kind of, um, I did, did I show you where it's at? It's in the July through December new um, mini catalog. It's page 64 and 65. So it's kind of there in the back, um, away from all of the holiday offerings. So you might have missed it. Um, but um, just gorgeous, gorgeous designer series paper. And we kind of sometimes forget about the stuff that's not holiday as we're getting ready for the holidays. Good morning, Christine. Good to see you today. Thank you for watching. Everybody, thanks for watching. It's fun, fun to share a little bit of crafting with you. Um, the, uh, like I said, be on the lookout for information from Stampin' Up! and from me about the event on August, October 1st, that will be free to all demonstrators. They'll be using different stamp sets to create different cards and you can craft right along with um, virtually and that's always a lot of fun. Good morning, Patricia, thanks for joining me. All right, I think I've got all my little strips the strips on there. I just think that's so pretty. Um, I have some pool party ribbon and it keeps falling on the floor. But there's this really gorgeous pool party ribbon and I want to tie that before I put it on the rest of the card. Tie a bow. For some reason I've been really into full bows instead of my fake bows. How are things in Indiana? I know I saw, North Carolina is a little cooler. Here, it's about over 100. Um, I don't know, I saw that in Arizona next week, this weekend, it could be like under 90, but maybe. Who knows what will happen there? But we're just hanging on for fall. All right, there's my bow. And I will be able to trim that and cut that. <laughs> we did have a thunderstorm this week. Got some rain. A few thunderstorms, actually. All right. Enough fussing with that. We can fix it later. I'm going to put some stamp and seal plus on the back and put it on our card front so we can... As you can see, there's not very... Um, not very much stamping. We just kind of let the designer series paper do the work and that's um, That's the great thing about our designer series paper is that it does Work nicely All right, and we need to stamp our sentiment. I want to let's celebrate because I have quite a few birthdays I need to catch up on so I just have a, a scrap that I am going to use the um I have the mint macaron I don't I need to grab the pool party excuse me it's just right behind me all right let's celebrate just in the corner here so I can slip it in the punch really easily. And there's our double oval punch, if you've seen that. Just slip that right in here and punch that out. And I've already punched the other oval. So I will use my, just use glue dots to attach it. Can you guys believe that it's uh, middle of August already? School has started everywhere. It's just crazy. All right, then we need some Stampin' Dimensionals to finish it off. With this, I try to put the dimensional on the, the top 
and then the bottom so that it straddles our straddles our ribbon. I got that a little higher than I wanted, but that's okay. Let's um and it's really slippery, so let's just Good morning, Brenda. Thanks for popping in. We're using the uh, Splendid um, Thoughts Bundle from Stampin' Up! along with the Splendid Day a 12 by 12 shiny side of the Designer Series paper. So yes, you can see how quick and easy that card goes together. Those strips are just five inches by three quarters. So out of a 12 by 12 sheet, just imagine how many you can get out of that. Hi, Holly. Thanks for popping in. Um, so here's the other quick card. This um, this technique is called the die stencil technique. And um, I've done that on another, um, using some other um, other stamp sets, but I wanted to show you that. Oh, you know what? What we forgot to do? I forgot to stamp um, the inside. And let's use the... Um, Actually, I'll wait until we stamp this. All right, I am a little scattered today, but that's okay, forgive me. All right, so we're gonna use the Fresh Freesia um, base for that. Thank you, Brenda, it's a really fun card, and I have the five and a quarter by four for the inside. Um, five and a quarter by four as a layer. Then I have the five by three and three quarters that this is my most favorite foil sheet, and then I have a white stitched rectangle. I've also um, die cut this flower out and we're just, we're not going to use the flower die cut. We are going to use the, um, the stencil from that. So the first thing I'm going to do is stamp the flower just on my rectangle. So I have some place to start. I'm going to do just add an angle here a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to take my stencil and layer that, layer that on the top. Oh, you know what? Did I use the wrong? Let's see. No, there we go. Oh my goodness. I did, let's see. Why am I not seeing that? <laughs> there we go. Oh, I need to go get a Diet Coke this morning. <laughs> All right, there we go, we got it. So then we're gonna take the blending brush along with um, our fresh freesia ink. I'm just gonna put a little bit of ink on there, start off the page and just um, keep adding ink to my flower, giving it a little silhouette or a shadow. So we use the die cut to make a stencil and then we're just filling in um, the color. So you can make this as dark or as light as you want. And it's kind of a surprise when we pick that up how much um, ink actually made it on there. So that just gives you a little different look there. Um, I have the sending hugs all ready to go. So I'm going to put this um, put that in the corner. It is a really fun technique and it can be used with so many of our stamp sets. And I've got a, quite a few thinking of you cards that need to go out to, um, uh, and so that's always a good one for me to have. I am going to put the flower in the lower right hand corner for the inside. So we have that all ready to go. And remember you'll wanna do your envelopes as well. Okay, so we have that all stamped and ready to go. And then it's just a matter of putting this one together. So today I just wanted to show some really quick, quick and easy, um, letting the designer series paper do the work because it really, really does this. It's gorgeous. I'm on my, my second package. I'm going to be looking for some other ideas as well as the cards that Stampin' Up! Um, showed us. 
So my fresh freesia layer here, just a um, matter of putting it together. This one would be easy to make a lot of and just have them on hand all month. I don't know if you're part of the groups that um, I ask for cards to be sent to different people who need a little pick-me-up. These are good to have on hand for that. And then this, I just used Stampin' Dimensionals on this, the, um, the video and some of the information will be on my blog at kimplayswithpaper.com. Remember, celebration is still ongoing. We have about two weeks left. So for with purchases of 50 and and $100, you can choose um, free product. And who doesn't like free? So check that out. If you don't know about it, give me a shout and I'll help you out. So this I'm just going to use a really quick bow. This is the Fresh Freesia ribbon. Um, not even a bow. I just made a knot. Going to use my glue dot to, um, I just put it right on the back of that knot and put it on the front of the card. And then, then trim that up. Oh, there's one other piece that we have. We've got to have a little bit of bling. Actually, that's too long. Just hack away with that scissor. All right. So I actually, too, um, I like to have a little bit more bling. And I have some of our Stampin' Up's uh, pearls. And I like to use the... Um, Stampin' Up, Stampin' bl the Blend to color a few of those. We'll, um, and they go, they go on real quick and they dry, that dry, so I just use this. And you wanna be gentle so you don't fray the end, but I'm using the Fresh Freesia um, Blend and just coloring the pearls. And then you can go over and make them as dark or as light as you want. And um, they do dry really, really fast. But what I love about the pearls and any color stamp and blend, you can make your pearls of any color in case that Stampin' Up! doesn't um, have that specific color that you're looking for. Good morning, Colleen. Thanks for joining. So then we'll just put a few of the little pretties on the front. And that's how that... Um, that's how that goes together. And let's see, here's the other card we made. Oh, and then just don't forget to put the, the piece in the middle. You'll wanna write a little note. Sometimes I will put a sticky note in um, and then they can, uh, whoever gets the card can reuse it. My mom was always really particular. One day I sent her a thank you note and she calls me up and she says, Kimberly, you signed the inside of that card. She said, don't do that next time. Next time, just put a sticky note so I can use it again. So I, um, I learned my lesson. So that's always a fun way to do that is put a sticky note in and they can use it again. Thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you um, uh, joining me today. Find me at kimplayswithpaper.com and on YouTube and Pinterest. And I also have an email newsletter. Oh my, an escaped puppy. I know you have an energetic puppy, so um, you'll be able to watch the replay. Um, I hope you caught her, by the way. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of the day, week, and weekend, and we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining me. Bye-bye.